it's another week and another Suzuki review. Today we are checking out the new Suzuki 5-door Jimny. This 5-door Jimny is long overdue and Suzuki made a good choice in bringing this car out because the 3-door version of the Jimny is not make sure. What we will be discussing during this video are the trims and engine in this car, we will critique this car's design and finally as always, I will tell you about the estimated cost of owning this Jimny. You are watching Cars24, your ultimate car buying guide. Suzuki offers the Jimny in two derivatives, there's a GL and a GLX. I'm sure by now you already know what is under the hood of this Jimny, because Suzuki has used this engine in almost all their cars. The reason is that the engine is very fuel efficient, and it's also within the emission standards which means its tax bracket will be low, benefiting you and me, by keeping the price within the affordable spectrum. The tried and tested engine in question is the 1.5 litre engine, which is also used in the Palino, Franks, Grand Vitara, and every car that has a Toyota badge. This engine produces 75 kilowatts and 130 newton meters of torque. It is connected to an all drip all wheel drive system, which can be paired with either a 5 speed manual in the GL and GLX or a 4 speed automatic gearbox, which is found only in the GLX. Suzuki claimed the Jimny in both manual and automatic transmission will consume 6.4 liters to 6.8 liters to 100 kilometers of your fuel, which is good considering the size of this car. The Jimny looks like a very capable off roader, which is what it is. In front, you get run LED projector headlights with front fog lights on the GLX. On the GL, you have to make do with halogen headlights and no fog lights. There are air vents in the front bumper and grill to allow the engine to cool off during your off roading adventures. The side profile reveals the box nature of this chimney. This car is 350mm longer than its street door sibling and boasts a ground clearance of 210mm. The wheel arcades are huge and this will protect your beautiful paintwork that comes with this chimney. In both the GL and GLX, the chimney stands on these 15 inch alloy wheels and it also comes with a full size spare wheel, which is here at the back. I remember back in the days, the general thinking was when you drive a car that has a wheel on its back, you are very rich. I mean, you are when you're driving a Defender, but growing up, we soon realized that no man, driving an Eco Sport doesn't mean you are rich. It means you just got approved by a bank that will charge you money for 5 to 6 years. But the back of this chimney looks very nice, I like it. The fifth door in this chimney opens sideways, and you'll find that the luggage space of 211 liters is rather small. If you're not satisfied, you can either slide your back seat in a 50-50 split to increase your luggage space, or you can get these shandies on the roof to keep some of your luggage, and this will make your chimney look super cool. If you don't want any of my options, then you have to pack nicely. There's a 12 volt accessory socket and underneath your luggage floor, you have a tire repair kit. My advice, don't try and squeeze anyone in the back seat, especially the middle one. Oh wait, there's no middle seat in the chimney. Anyways, this is my driving position. A knee room is restricted, but headroom is good. I'm sure you'd rather lose your legs than sustain a concussion during your off-roading adventures. The front of this interior carries on the ragged nature of the exterior design. This is the GLX in manual disguise, which means it comes with all the cool stuff the Jimny can offer. In front of you is a leather wrap multifunction function steering wheel that has your cruise control functions. Next to it is a 9 inch touchscreen that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both of them are wireless. The GL comes with a smaller 7 inch touchscreen. The GLS has an automatic air conditioner but it's manual on the GL, which is not a problem really. All windows are electrically operated, with some of the keys located here next to your cup holders. You have a 12 volt socket, a USB port, and an area to keep your mobile device. This is your glove box, and these are your seats. As a driving passenger, you want a sense of security when you're driving your car, especially if you're taking it off-road. If you choose to buy the GL, you will get your front airbags, ABS with EBD and BA. There's heel hold and descent control, electronic stability program, traction control, and isofix anchors for your child seat. When you choose to buy the GLX, you will get all the aforementioned features, plus a rear view camera, front side, and curtain airbags. I think the 360 degree view camera on the Palino would have been handy in this 5 door chimney. 
but unfortunately it's not part of the package. Maybe me not sure I'm mad, but if you can get 6 airbags and cruise control in the Balino GLX, which costs 110,000 less than the Jimny GL, why can't I get these features on the Jimny, which cost way more than the Balino? If anyone from Suzuki is listening, we the people need answers. The Jimny is offered with a 5 year or 200,000 km warranty, plus a 4 year or 60,000 km service plan. The service intervals are 15,000 km or 1 year, whichever comes first. Now, how do Suzuki price this Jimny? You can get into the 5 door Jimny GL for around 429,900. The GLX starts from 457,900 with the auto price at 479,900. With my trusted opinion, I think it will be fine with the GL. It has most of the things you will need from your Jimny. Now, let's say you decide to listen to me and finance the GL manual for 72 months at an interest rate of 11.75% with no balloon or deposit. Under these terms, you can expect to pay around 8,441 rands per month. The Jimny has a 40 litre fuel tank, and 140 rands will be enough to fill this car's fuel tank. If you can get an insurance cover of around 2,000, this will take your monthly cost of ownership for this Jimny to around 11,391 rands per month. Now, what's my final verdict? The 3 door version didn't really hit the mark for some of us. But this 5 door version is everything in one package. If you have the money and you are very adventurous, just go get yourself the chimney. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this very informative channel. You won't regret it. And if you have watched this far, please leave a comment so that I can see who watches all my videos and who doesn't. Those who will, I will definitely give you a shout out on my next video. Until next time. Peace.